Okay, when you're ready, you can begin. Give me a countdown and we'll start the run. All right, so yeah, I'm Linker Meister. This is Super Metroid Harvest. This is a ROMAC of Super Metroid. Uh, the reason why it's 78% is because there's only 78 items in the game and the math hasn't been corrected to uh, make it actually 100% for the uh, amount of items that are in the game. So for this, we're going to start from this screen. There's no series station, so that's why we start from here. I will be counting down for free and I'm going to start to run. So we're going to go 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, we start with all the items. Uh, we will be losing them pretty soon. So for now, everything is perfectly normal. Nothing wrong. There's different music. So... Some, uh... Some unique things in this hack. That hasn't been... I'm pretty sure hasn't been done in any other hack. So this is a contest hack made for the Oats and Goats, uh, contest. I think I got second or third place. Not 100% sure. Ah, didn't get the marble there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around. Go a bit fast. Pretty soon we won't be going fast because of something where I'm gonna do. So there's a scarecrow, we're gonna say hi to it. I'm gonna make sure I spark here. Also, he threw a game at me and now he's stealing my stuff. So the reason why I spark is now I have a blue suit. That does mean that I have to walk. I cannot press run or else I lose it. And uh, yeah, with blue suit, I can get some items early. Some items even like really early. So for now, we're just gonna basically walk through the game. For, yeah. For good, for a good uh, few minutes, we're just gonna walk around because I cannot hold run. So yeah, this is just the boring part. It's not pretty much happening. I'm supposed to have speed booster here to even get here, so... Yeah, since I got blue suit, I can just go here. Makes me able to get uh, space jump early. It is vanilla space jump, so it, it, it does... It's, it's terrible. It's not a good item. At least I don't like vanilla space jump at all. There is a task for 78% that obviously arm pumps everywhere. I'm not going to do that because it doesn't really... Yeah, I cannot arm pump that fast. Also need to watch out if I stand still and then press down. Uh, it's it makes me able to spark, but I need to watch it that I don't use it. So yeah, you're not able to go here normally either because those enemies drain your health. The reason why I didn't go here earlier is the items aren't at those spots yet. Since they got stolen, they are now there. Yeah, it's just the boring part of the run. There's not much happening. Oh, do, do not use the spark. I'm gonna wait here. Don't want to accidentally use my spark. Yeah, 
Here's a sneak peek of the enemies who we will be seeing soon. Again, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna stand still and wait till I get back. Till it goes back to normal. There we go. Now we get uh, some new enemies. We get more boss samuses that roll around uh, the, the walls and ceilings and they lay bombs. The bombs do a ton of damage. So one more item to grab and then I can finally run around. Let's summon this in this this room. And now I can finally run around. But now we're gonna go fast. So, since I don't have more ball, you you already saw me rolling around. Yeah, uh, that's the way we're gonna roll around. So I'm not able to get into wand tile holes at all, since I don't have morph. And I got power bombs, but yeah, I'm not able to use power bombs without morph ball. There's a different way I'm able to use power bombs that will be done later on.
Now we got a really annoying and boring boss. Here's he is corn spawn. So this boss only moves when I move, so it's really annoying to hit the boss. Especially when it's faster. So I'm gonna try to get two missiles each each round. And that's two, so that's good. Spores love to get in my way. That's just one. I could have learned a different route that makes this boss just super easy. Basically the route that the Taz uses. Uh, you kill this boss way later, but you have... Uh, you have plasma beam. So you just kill him one shot. Well, that was just... One missile again. Super annoying, boring boss. That's two. That's gonna go fast, and so that's it's gonna be harder to hit it with two missiles. Even getting one missile in is just not easy now. That's two. That's nice. It doesn't move him in a moonwalk though. It's that. There we go. That's good. Wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna try the Kegel through it. Um, see if I can get it. Nope. So you can just clip through it. By uh, pressing down on the correct timing. It takes a little bit of time. Not doing move all to go down faster. So, on my way to the factory. Factory here uh, introduces some unique mechanics. Yes, there we go. Perfect. So the Scarecrow is here again, and so is my Speed Booster. I'm not able to get it. Um, it runs away when you get close by. Uh, if I could arm pump really fast, I could grab it, but I cannot, so I'm not able to get it. And now we see an infinite spawning uh, charge beam item. 
It just keeps going, even if you collect it, it just keeps going. So he's a new mechanic. So, ah, uh, okay. No, one, no one, it's not what I wanted to do, but okay. So if I charge my beam on top of those things, uh, I get a free spark. And this is the way I'm gonna get speed booster. So also gonna show uh, this is gonna be the way I'm gonna use power bombs. So there's a thing called an SBA in Super Metroid. Uh, if you have a singular beam equipped, for example, just ice beam or just charge beam, uh, you can do something like this. So that's the way we get rid of power bomb blocks and uh, open uh, power bomb doors. Again, infinite spawning charge beams. It's not where I pressed. So now I have to wait till SBA goes away because I cannot charge my beam during it. Now we get to an annoying boss. There we go.
But now the SBA is different because I got uh, Spacer. Oh, did not want to. No, stupid X ray. Look, such a garbage item. The super? No. Good. Just what I needed. Oh, okay. The I disagree game. I press down. That was dumb. That should have worked. There we go. Now we got a fully loaded room with items. Now those items above are gone. <laughs> There's just one more item to collect and then we out of here. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we've got a donation, twenty pounds by Super God four five one. Uh, there's no message or anything, or it doesn't go towards any incentives. But thank you very much for that donation, Super God, if you're in the chat. And don't forget, of course, exclamation mark donate in the chat will bring you up the link to the Tiltify page that we're using. And if we raise £250, I'll be giving away a copy of Train Simulator Classic with a bunch of DLC on there as well. So, oh, I already have way through the run. So I, mean, so, I could do a space boost here, just space jump with uh, speed booster across. There's an item in the middle of this room, but uh, yeah, I'd rather not risk it. So, um, I need to go back for that. Just, I'm gonna get a spark here just to kill two enemies, just to make sure they are out of my way. Wow, that's okay. I guess we're gonna spark all across again. That's not what I did. This is not what I wanted to do. I disagree, game. That's not what I did. Well, that's fun. That has never happened before. That's the first time. Oh, it's gonna try doing it that way. That was not... I'm not sure why I sparked that. That was not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna do this then. Bikes can do quite some damage, so that's why I need to watch out. Yeah, well, that that's uh, that's uh, never happened before. I'm now gonna go here, collect two items. I could collect these uh, during the escape, because they are there doing that. But uh, yeah, one of them is high jump, and high jump is really useful, especially with space jump. That where you have to wait till you can jump again, and if you wait too long, you cannot jump. Come on, I hate getting into small holes. It's really annoying. I also seem to have issue getting in one tile holes or even two tile holes sometimes. Use a small little puzzle where you need to use a mechanic. So you need to use the mechanic of uh, knocking enemies off walls while shooting a super against the wall. 
That's how you get that item. Go to Scarecrow's there on the left, looking at me. And now we get like a mini boss with the kill. And it's dead. And it gives me wave beam. Oh wow, I was just barely off. Yeah, I was the tiniest bit off. That was lame. Get rid of the enemies. So I don't want to spark across or else I get into the room on the left. I want to do this just faster. I did not want to do that. I wanted to do a diagonal spark there. I need to do the same thing here. And now we get uh, now we have more beams for the SBA. You're supposed to only be able to use SBAs with a single beam. This hack, it doesn't matter what you have equipped. It's going to make the game lag pretty badly. So again, more lag. This time I'm able to get rid of it easily. There we go.
Now the SBA is gonna be now it's gonna even get laggier. There's even some flickering. Really game? Ugh, the lag. Well, that was the fault of the lag. Stuff is really happening during this run. Jeez. That was not my fault. That was the lag. Dropping inputs. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Jeez. Okay, lag, please. So there's one more item in this first area that I need to collect. Just one more missile. And I just uh, to find the area where I need to go. That was a good move, all. I hate when the enemy isn't dead. So I have to do a really annoying short, really, really short charge. Uh, so make sure I don't have to go through the final area twice. A really annoying one. There's barely enough space to do it. stupid there we go a really dumb short charge to do absolutely horrible this is a short charge that can completely destroy the robot pads on my controller for my d-pad so just make sure I don't have to go twice through this area
And now we get two cag tags uh, glued together. And now we see the scarecrow again. This thing gives me back my morph ball. And I'm stuck in morph ball. So I'm stuck till I uh, kill the ball the final boss. I have to do the final boss wall in morph. Let's hope for some good RNG, come on. So the one that ha has that's had bobbing is the one. He loves to just teleport away constantly. Well, this is already a really bad start. This is the worst start ever. Why? Well, sucks. So I want him just to stay on spot. Sometimes the one that's the real one doesn't have Bob. Oh my god, stop teleporting. That should be enough damage. So now he's gonna make some gates appear. I can just be on top of the gate and just bomb him. He can never go to his second, uh, second phase. Like, never. You can kill him before that. So yeah, now we have the rest of the escape. Just get in the hole, Samus. So 
So time is coming up. And time. So for validation purposes, if we have time uh, to sit for the credits, because yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I think so. I think we've got about three minutes before the next one is due to start, but we are running a bit behind schedule anyway, and it's not a huge issue because we have a break after the next run of about yeah. like twenty minutes, so it's not a huge problem. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, there's, there's nothing. No one has made anything yet where you can just press start and you can just go to the end. Unfortunately, that hasn't been made. Hopefully, it's um someday someone will make a hack where you can just press start to skip through the credits. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, well, since we have a bit of downtime, we'll just kind of go over some of the next bits. Then uh, we haven't had any new donations in. So if anybody does want to donate, if you type exclamation mark donate in the chat, and the link does pop up periodically by the bot as well. Uh, if you go to that link, then that all proceeds of that will go directly to everyone can. We've donated £20 so far. If we donate £250 in total, then um, I'll be giving away a copy of Train Simulator Classic at the end of the marathon, which happens tomorrow. Um, don't forget to also add an incentive to your donations as well, because we have Final Fantasy VII uh, incentives that you can choose from. Uh, we've got a target, which is to show the Ninja Girl transformation cutscene. I've also got the lang select the language poll as well. Uh, they are, that's the first run tomorrow, so make sure to get your donations in before tomorrow, uh, before that run. Um, all the proceeds you tiltify will go directly to everyone can as well, and 100% of that goes to everyone can. You can also help out a little bit more by uh, just either any kind of twitch revenue so that's subscriptions bits if you have some spare bits to donate then you can cheer them as well uh you can subscribe if you have if you have a spare prime sub then you can subscribe for free of course and uh, we still get a bit of money from that um and don't forget as well watching adverts will give us a little bit of ad revenue as well so anything that constitutes twitch revenue at the end of the marathon we will be splitting that evenly between ourselves and everyone can uh, that helps us then to grow the marathon into next year and the years ahead so that we can bring even better marathons in the future and of course it helps charity as well. And don't forget as well we've got merchandise on the Instasim store so you can buy mugs, coasters, uh, birthday cards, Christmas cards and all the lot over on the Instasim store and half of the profits from all sales this weekend will go to everyone can as well. So, I think we're just sitting through the credits at the moment, aren't we? Oh, we're almost at the end of the credits, so... Hey, so I've talked all the way through them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the most boring thing of a hundo run, the credits. Just for brevity's sake, we've... Uh, the final time on my side was 41 minutes, 42 seconds, so... It's not too not bad, bad for the... Some, some accidental sparks that I didn't want to do. <laughs> Fair enough. There we go, 78%. So I got all the items in the game. I uh, hope every everyone enjoyed the run and uh, thanks for having me. No worries, thank you very much for taking part and we'll see you again soon.